Oh, there you are. Uh, this is John Gill from Playful Communications, the happy home of Made on a Mobile. I'm told you need to do a bit of self-recording and I'm guessing you've probably got one of these, so I'm here to help you get the best out of it. Of course, it's important that people can both see and hear you. So let's start with sound. Sound is possibly more important than video. People are very forgiving of poor quality video, but poor quality sound, they'll very quickly move on. There are lots of external mics compatible with smartphones. They're always gonna give you better quality. Equally, the built-in microphone on the camera is pretty good quality, as long as it's not too far away from you. So first of all, make sure you're not covering the mic with your hand if you're holding the phone. Ideally, just find yourself a nice quiet space. A bit of ambient background noise isn't going to be a problem, but just make sure there's nothing too distracting. As much as possible, it's a good idea to be looking straight into the lens. And sometimes that means that the lens is hidden in a black area of the screen. And so something as simple as a sticky note can help you keep focused. Of course, nobody wants to be looking up anyone's nose. So it's a good idea not to be looking down into the camera, but lift it up. Bring the camera up to eye level. Use a box or a stack of books, the tripod if you've got one, but again, there are lots of other options that you can improvise. And so the final thing is lighting. Modern day mobiles are very good at coping with all sorts of lighting conditions, but it's always gonna be better to have a light source facing you rather than behind. There are all sorts of lighting solutions available for you to buy, but it might just be as simple as sitting in front of a window. So one last thing, it might be important for the project you're contributing to that you shoot horizontal or vertical. So always check. The main thing is just be consistent throughout. Visit playfulcommunications.co.uk for recommended tripods and microphones and all sorts of bits of kit. Hopefully these tips will help you get better quality out of your phone. And remember this video was made on a mobile.